Hello fellow slingshot enthusiasts. Well, the weather outside is pretty miserable today. So I'm in here with the good old Zulu and uh, I thought I would take the opportunity to show you a couple of uh, catch box uh, designs which I've used uh, for indoor shooting as well as outdoor shooting. So let me get rid of the dog here and, uh, and I'll be right back. Zoo, come on over here. Come on. Lie down over there. That's good. Now, this one uh, is actually uh, a variation on the design which I think was uh, first put up on the forum by Natural Fork. And it consists of a frame uh, uh, which sits down on the floor and it's made out of PVC pipe and then it has uh, T attachments here uh, and I found that if I made these side pieces out of PVC, then I occasionally got a flyer or a ricochet off a can or something, and it would smash the uh, side pieces. So I made them out of doweling. Now the PVC pipe is just three quarter inch uh, PVC pipe, and I found that one inch doweling fits the uh, fittings for three quarter inch PVC pipe really very well. But you'll see that I use just a little bit of uh, duct tape uh, wrapped around here. It usually takes about one wrap or one and a half wraps to make a really nice tight fit. Um, there's just an upright, an upright, and a crossbar, and basically a square frame. And I think this is uh, two feet wide, three feet long, something like that. And it's about four feet tall. I made this design, it also I should say it's got T fittings here so I can put a little arm out. I use an eye bolt here so that I can just attach my target here. I attach the target on rubber bands. I have fishing swivels here on the end so that the target can swing around do whatever it wants and yet it doesn't uh, get all tangled up and twisted. Uh, and I find it gets twisted on the string. The backstop material is just uh, some heavy denim canvas that I had for another project and it's just draped over here and that works fairly well but this stuff is heavy enough that often the uh, ammo will walk around in an arc and get slung back out uh, and it makes a bit of a noise when you shoot it but it will stop the ammo and it just drops down this is just a plain old rough tote box put some toweling in the bottom alright so let me just take a shot here and I'll show you how the thing works. It uh, stops everything, but it makes a bit of noise. Okay, I'm going to walk you over there and show you a little bit of close-up detail. Uh, so just hang on with me here for a minute. Okay, so what I did, you can see that wherever there's a fitting, I put a screw in one corner and then I put just a, drilled a hole and put a nail in the other one and, and each joint is labeled and that's so that I can take the whole thing apart and the pieces are small enough that they will all fit inside this rough tote box. And so that includes the dowels and everything else. And here's the cross arm that supports the target. The reason for making it like that was I made several of them for young boys so that they can uh, pack it all up in a rough tote box and, uh, and put it away in a closet when they're not using it and that uh, means that the family is uh, not going to be making quite as much racket about them using it. Inside the box itself, probably not enough light really to see, I put an old towel in the bottom and one here on the front just to, to keep any balls from uh, bouncing out when they hit that uh, hit that plastic. Okay. Well, let me uh, talk to you a little bit about this one. I'm going to put the camera back on the stand and uh, and I'll tell you about the other one. This other design is sort of a, a like a clamshell or a, you know a sandwich board, the kind of thing that the one would use on the sidewalk. Uh, used to use on the sidewalks anyway to advertise a business uh, and it's, uh, it's really quite straightforward again it's a frame made with PVC pipe fittings 
and wooden dowel. It's uh, two feet across this way, three feet up this way. I'll take this off. This is just an extra piece, which I'll explain in a minute. And this frame just has a leg, which pivots on the back, and so you can use it to stand it up, or you can close it up and fold it. I'll say a little bit more about that leg in a minute. I use an old denim jacket and an old shirt just to as stops for the ammo. If you're comfortable with just one layer, Actually, a shirt has two layers, that's fine. I like to put uh, another layer on, and so I use an old broom handle. You could use anything, a garden cane or anything to suspend another shirt. I cut the arms off an old shirt, button it up, and just hang it in front. And usually I put the buttons to the back. And that gives uh, plenty of stopping power. It's loose, so it moves and it absorbs all the energy of the ball uh, before it hits. Again. I have a little T connectors here, and so I have arms sticking out so that you can uh, hold the ammo. And it's, uh, sorry, hold the target. And again, it's designed so that you can just take a standard rough tote box, put it in here, and fire away. Before I do any close up stuff, let me take a shot uh, just so you'll see how that one works. Not a problem. Stops everything. No sweat. Well, I'll take the camera loose and walk over there and show you just a few more details. Hang on, just stay with me here for a minute. Here we go. So here's the frame. You can see, again, now I haven't made this one in smaller pieces because I didn't think of it as having to be bundled up and put into a rough tote box. Uh, it just collapses and you can put it into a, a, a closet or behind the bed or wherever you want or under the bed. I will say a little word about the back leg. Uh, I cut all these pieces, these longer pieces, three feet long. Uh, and if this one was just three feet long, I didn't like the angle. I wanted the back one to be a little bit longer. So I just uh, cut another six inch piece in and uh, put a little uh, uh, connector on it so that I've got a little bit longer back leg and so it's, it has a little bit more upright. I haven't uh, drilled any of these sections. Uh, they're, they're quite, uh, you know, uh, tight enough to hold, but they're loose enough that I can just twist them and pull the whole thing apart. And if I want to travel somewhere, uh, I can make it a, a more compact than it is. But uh, I think uh, I've made uh, these before for various people. I made them out of two by four frames and. And, and that gets to be very heavy. But I found that uh, using this uh, one inch diameter wooden dowel and three quarter inch PVC fittings makes for a nice, uh, a nice light frame. I should say something about this connector here. This is just a standard T connector. And all I did was to take a, a Dremel tool. They have a little stop about right here so that the PVC won't slip all the way in. And, uh, and this uh, doweling won't go all the way through it. But what I did is I just took a, uh, a Dremel tool and went down in there and ground off that stop so that it now fits over the uh, doweling no problem. And so it, it pivots with no sweat and you, know, you can just adjust it to however you like it. Well, those are my two, uh, two back stops. Uh, and uh, I thought that it'd be easier to tell you about them uh, in a video than it would be uh, to uh, write it all up and take a bunch of photos and all that sort of stuff. Okay guys, I hope you'll find uh, some of these ideas worthwhile exploring. I haven't given you precise dimensions. You can obviously make it to suit whatever size you like. Uh, and uh, it makes for shooting indoors uh, a lot easier. And days like today, you don't want to be outside shooting, trust me. Okay. Thanks a lot. See you guys later.